Vineyard Kids, this is Asa. How are you? Um, I can't hear your answer, and that bums me out. But uh, I know we can worship together. So let's just spend a little time doing that. This is a song called Ask Children. As children we come with arms open wide So desperate for you, so in need of your life May our praise fill your ears, may our cries touch your heart We need your presence to change who we are. So we ask, come, Holy Spirit, come in your power, come inhabit our praise, come now. Come Holy Spirit 
Engineering Kids. I'm Becca. I'm Steph. I'm Rachel. You guys know that lady back there, but you probably don't know Rachel. My friend Rachel is joining us today because we are starting a new series. We are talking about the armor of God. And so before we talk about that, Rachel, do you think you could maybe like tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. My name is Rachel. My favorite number is seven and I'm from Texas. Okay, cool. I mean, those are all really fun things to know, but I like... Know. Yeah, there, you're a very fun person. Um, could you explain like why you're here today? Like why we asked you to be here with us? Oh yeah, my charming sense of humor. You do have a great sense of humor, that's true, but like you work here with me. We, we work together. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so we work together. Rachel is one of our worships pastors. If you have seen some of our other Vineyard Kids services, you've maybe seen Rachel like leading worship for us. What? Stuff. That's done. What? You um, said the armor of God, so I got ready. Okay. I mean, yeah, we are talking about the. Okay, it's not actual armor that you can see. Oh. It's invisible. Um. Mm -mm. Not exactly. So, like, when you start a relationship with Jesus. God kind of gives us an armor, but it's like stuff he gives us like on the inside. Maybe I should just read from the Bible. So here, let's do this. Let's read about the armor of God. We're going to be reading in Ephesians. This is chapter 6. I'm going to start in verse 13. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So, I mean, that's a lot right there, right? It's a lot of stuff that God has given us, and we are going to be kind of unpacking all of that over the next few weeks. So today we're going to start with the very first one. We're going to be talking about why it's really important to tell the oh, truth. Oh, oh, I made you guys belts. Belt of truth. We're oh. talking about the belt of truth. Yes. There you go. So we are going to be doing yeah. that. And then, um, hey, Steph. Yeah. You know how, like, every time we act it out, you're always... Asking if you can be Jesus? Yeah. Do I today, get to be Jesus? Today you can be Jesus. Yes! Oh. He's my favorite. He's my favorite character in the whole Bible. Let's do it. There was a woman who was sick. She had to be by herself. She had to be quarantined so she didn't get anyone else sick. She'd spent all her money on doctor's appointments, but no one was able to help her. Her sickness didn't go away. It stayed with her a long time. She'd been sick for 12 years years and had to live all by herself. She was very sad and very lonely. And one day, as she listened outside the city, she heard about Jesus. She'd heard that Jesus was telling the good news of the kingdom of God and that he was healing people. She so badly wanted to be healed that when she heard that Jesus was coming near to where she was, she decided she'd try to see him. She was sick and she was hoping Jesus could heal her. She saw Jesus, and she didn't want to interrupt him. She believed that he could heal her so much, she thought, if I just touch the bottom of his clothes, people wore really long clothes back then, that she'd be healed. And guess what? That's exactly what happened. She touched the bottom of his robes, and she was better. She'd been sick and alone for 12 years, and now she'd been healed. Jesus stopped. He turned to the crowd and said, Who touched me? I felt power leave me. Everyone got quiet. No one said a word. Then Jesus' friend Peter came up to him and said, Jesus, there's lots of people around. Anyone could have touched you. Jesus insisted, someone touched me because I felt power leave me. The woman was scared, but she knew she needed to tell the truth about what had happened. She came in front of Jesus and fell to the ground shaking. She told him that she had touched him. She said she believed that just touching the hem of his clothes would heal her. Jesus smiled and was amazed at her faith and her bravery to come to him and to tell him the truth. Jesus said, your faith has healed you. So, 
In our story today, we learned that it's really important to tell the truth, right? The lady who was sick for 12 years told the truth that she came and then she tried to touch Jesus. Jesus really honored that and he healed her. How incredible. So God has given us a gift. He's given us the belt of truth so that we can remember with his help, we can always tell the truth. It's always good to tell the truth, even when we think we might get in trouble. So we should pray. Right? Yeah, we should. Pray. Yeah. Steph, do you want to pray for us? Yeah, I would love to. Sweet. So Jesus, thank you so much for equipping us to follow you. Sometimes following you feels really scary, and sometimes telling the truth is really, really hard. And thank you for the way that when we tell the truth, we get to see you show up in our lives in really cool ways. Would you give us courage and strength? to continue to follow you and to be truth bringers and honest people in our lives. We love you. Amen. Amen. Hey, Steph. What? Do you want to find some fruit? Yes. Fruit ninja style? Yes. Let's do it. See you guys Don't later. Don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. Let's attain of my heart. Here it is, a watchdog. 